enjoy every Michael Chandler fight. I enjoy watching this guy go out there and fight on his shield. He has A-plus skills across the board, and let's see how he applies them to the fight tonight. And even in losses against high-level competition, he has had big moments. You do get the sense that Michael Chandler may always be just one win away from that elusive shot at the title yet again. Ready to battle and take home. something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Iron Michael Chandler! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner! All right, so there's that power right from Michael Chandler. He talked a lot about mixing it up this week, but that right hand is his weapon of choice, and he found the button early. It is his weapon of choice, and I think a lot of his success is based on the fact that he's such a high-level wrestler. So when he level changes, people tend to drop their hands, and Chandler drops a big right hand on him. I think this is one of the best athletes in the entire world. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Whoa! Crowd continues. 
has to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Just over two minutes to go. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Well, he rocked him pretty good. Oh, he's wobbling now. Feels like he's in trouble right now. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Oh, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, he's swelling down on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, It'll turn to something much worse. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Oh, oh he is hurting for something. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, huge oh. left. What an end to round one. All right, good news is the round is over. Bad news. Chandler's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully, the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just broke. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, huge right hand from Michael Chandler. Get it. He's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. Oh, spinning heel kick in the game. That is going to do it. Oh, my goodness. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 23 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor. All right, well, as many of you know, the overwhelming majority of Conor McGregor's pro MMA wins have come by knockout, and he produces another one here in the Octagon tonight. Produces another knockout. Conor McGregor will tell you that he's going to knock you out and he goes out there, and he does it. Hats off to Conor McGregor and all of his coaches for another massive victory in another huge spot in his UFC.